Hello, what's going on folks? My name is Chris and in this video, we're gonna go over a new feature that's been added to the Interactive Brokers mobile application. That feature is called Conditional, Conditional Orders. orders. And this is a great feature that is mostly targeted towards option traders or derivative traders, um, specifically trading on the go, because you can now submit conditional orders from your mobile device using the Interactive Brokers mobile application. And that's what we're gonna go over in this quick little video here. I hope you enjoy it. Press the like button down below, comment below if this video helps you. So quick rundown of the functionality. The conditional order functionality in Interactive Brokers it allows you to attach a condition to an order that you might place on an option contract or a futures contract. And these conditions basically allow you to say, when this market, let's say it's Apple stock, gets to a certain price, I want to either buy a new option trade, I wanna sell my existing option trade, I wanna modify my existing option trade, or I wanna cancel an existing order. That's one condition that you can use. There's other conditions, like for example, you can submit or cancel an order when a certain time of the day is achieved. You can submit or cancel an order when your daily profit or loss has reached a certain level in the account. Those are just a few of the conditions to name them, right? So let's go over to the Interactive Brokers mobile app here. I'm gonna start recording on my phone. I'm gonna go into the application here. I'll be on a simulated trading account just for this testing demonstration. I'm gonna click at the bottom on the portfolio tab at the bottom left there. And I'm gonna select this Apple bear spread position that I have already in my account. Um, and what I'm gonna do with this trade is, well, first I'm gonna click on it just to uh, bring it down. You can see those are the individual legs of the position. Now, if I wanted to, I could close the individual legs, but I'm just gonna select the whole spread just to go into the menu for this. So what I'm gonna do is close this position. I'm gonna select sell at the bottom. Now, the way you access the conditional order functionality is towards the bottom of the order ticket. So once you put in the parameters for your order ticket, let's say you want to sell as a limit order for the limit price of um, debit 162. And again, if you want more information on how credit spreads work in Interactive Brokers, you can watch the last video I uploaded, which is how to roll option spreads on Interactive Brokers. That video actually goes over quite a bit of information. And there's another video, of course, which shows how to submit conditional orders on Interactive Brokers um, using their desktop software. That's the traditional way. So if you really have no idea how this functionality works, definitely go watch that video first. Let's say you're ready with your order ticket here. You go down to where it says order conditions. I'm gonna click the plus icon right there. And this is now the new menu for conditional orders. These are all the available conditions that you can choose from. So you can use a price condition for any underlying asset or any asset basically that Interactive Brokers has in their platform. So if I select price, I could say the price of Apple in this case, and it automatically defaults to Apple because this is an Apple option contract. So I guess it goes and gets Apple as the stock by default, but you can put in any stock here. Let's say you wanted it to be SPY. So when the price of SPY is less than or greater than or equal to a certain price, it will then trigger your order. So here's an example of what this menu looks like, setting up a price condition. And you can also set it to cancel the order when this condition is true. So let's say, for example, you're gonna submit this order to close your position. However, if SPY is greater than or equal to a price of 567, you want it to cancel your order off. So that's exactly what I told it right there. Now you can add more conditions. If you select the and item, basically means that both your conditions or all your conditions that you're adding need to be true before this order will be submitted or canceled in the case that you selected cancel. You can also select an or condition, which means if one condition is true or the other condition is true, then it'll go ahead and either submit the order or cancel the order. So for now, I'll just stick with this one condition here, price condition greater than or equal to 567. Once you're ready with that, you can click done. Now there's an item at the bottom here that says check conditions during extended hours. This will only apply to you if you're placing orders that are meant to be active in after hours, like on a futures contract or maybe stocks after hours. But in this case, the order I placed here had a time in force of day, which means that it will be canceled by the end of the day if it's not filled. So I don't need to check that. 
And the reason I knew that, by the way, is because I actually tried to enable it. And you can see here, it gives you the message, condition satisfaction during extended hours is only supported if the time in force is longer than one day. Your time in force is currently set today. I like that because it's giving information to the user that they need to know about how this functionality works. So I'll select done. Then it'll say, once you submit your order, you will not be able to change the following condition attributes, the number of conditions or the condition types, operators and hours preferences. So once you submit your conditional order, you cannot go in and modify certain aspects of the condition. You may be able to modify the price of the condition if it's a price condition, but you won't be able to modify the condition itself. If you want to submit a new order with a new condition, you have to go ahead and cancel your order and then submit a brand new one. Okay. So I understand and accept that. You can see there's our condition. You can go ahead and revise your order ticket if there's anything you need to change, like the price or the time in force, or if you wanted to attach any stop loss or something like that. And then once you're ready, you can select slide to sell or preview the order. So I'll click slide to sell. Your order is pending. And then we get a message here regarding price management. I'll go, this is a pop-up that you get quite frequently in interactive brokers. And I don't really like to explain it. It's not that complicated to understand, but basically, even if you just set always use, it's not a problem. So I'll select always use and our order has been submitted. And you can see in parentheses, it says cancel if, meaning that there's a cancel if condition associated with our order. If spy reaches that price that we set, then it's going to go ahead and cancel our existing order. Okay. Now we may not see this in action here because I think I put a price that's quite far away, but it's just to show you how this functionality works on a mobile device to see your existing orders. I'm on the portfolio tab at the bottom and at the top here, there's kind of a slider that shows you different tabs. I'll select the orders tab and we can see our existing orders. And you know, you can, you can also filter this menu if you want to and not show canceled orders and filled orders. So for example, let's say I don't want to show filled orders or canceled orders. So now I'm showing only active orders. I actually have two active orders right now. One is a submit if condition. The other one's a cancel if condition. If I go into the submit if order that I submitted before I started recording this video, you can see this one has a condition of if Apple's last price is less than or equal to 210. Okay. Now I think that this functionality is very useful and let me explain why, because you might be on the go trading options on your phone, which is honestly what a lot of people do these days, even very experienced investors that know their strategy very well. I think that a lot of them would actually prefer to have access to their account and some of the sophisticated trading capabilities of their broker while they're out on the go drinking cocktails in the summertime or out in the mountains hiking. That might seem a bit exaggerated, but you would be pretty damn surprised as to what some traders do, me included. If you guys get value out of this content, let me know with a comment down below and check out Interactive Brokers using the first link down below in the description. And that's an easy way to return the favor if you enjoyed these videos and they help out. Thank you. So I'll do one last example just so you guys can see this. So I'll double click on the position, click sell because I want to close the position. I'll go to order conditions at the bottom. And let's say we want to do one for my daily P and L is now you may not want to do this. If you have a combination of swing trade positions and day trade positions in the same account, the reason is because the swing trade positions will impact that daily P and L. Now you can see here, it's giving you the number for what the daily P and L is on the day. And I know based on the position I have in this demo account that that plus $25 is actually an unrealized P and L from this open option trade I have here. So, what the daily P and L is in case you're curious, it's actually unrealized daily profit loss. At least that's what it's telling us here. So I have an unrealized profit of $25 here. So why don't we submit a condition that says if our daily P and L is less than or equal to minus 200 USD. So if we're down 200 bucks, we want to submit this sell order to close our option trade. And that's all. We don't have to do anything more than that. We'll select done. I understand and accept. And then I'll go up to the top of the order and I'll actually change this to a market order, even though I may not do this in practice. I don't like to submit market orders on options spread positions. Although I think that the price management algo will pretty much handle, um, will, will pretty much handle your fill price. Just the only problem you might experience with using a market order on an option spread or on a complex spread is that if the spread is being quoted with a wide bid and offer, um, and you're trading a large amount of size, 
you're going to give away quite a bit of money um, exiting the trade with a market order compared to if you tried to work out of it or even worked out of the individual option legs, you could probably result in some price improvement there, especially if you're trading a large amount of option contracts. That's not theoretical, by the way. That's actually quite factual, what I just said. Um, although it may not apply to you, especially if you're a beginner, but it will apply to you if you're trading a large amount of option contracts with more complex type of spreads. Okay, so just be aware of that. I would say it's not the most ideal scenario to use a market order to exit a, an option combo trade. Um, but if you're just trading a couple of contracts and the bid offer spread is relatively tight like it is here, you can see that spread's being quoted about five to seven cents approximately. It kind of varies. You know, that's pretty acceptable. You can probably use a market order and it's not going to be the end of the world because you'd rather be out of that trade compared to um, trying to work out for price improvement on the exit. Okay, so just a bit of uh, knowledge for you guys there. So once you're ready with that, submit to sell and your order is pending. Okay. Now I'll go back there, look at my existing orders. Now I have three existing orders here. And that's how the conditional order functionality works on the IBKR mobile app. So far, it seems to work pretty well. Let me know your experiences with it down below. And if you run into any problems, message their support team about it. Thank you very much. And I will see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.